Hello. All populations grow exponentially. That means very, very fast. Unless there is some opposing force um, cutting down on the population growth, like say a pandemic or an asteroid hit. Think of the dinosaurs. Otherwise, and you can kind of see it with us humans, we grow exponentially. We reproduce like crazy, just like rabbits, just like bacteria. We all want to reproduce. So that's what we're discussing now. Exponential growth as it applies to population growth. So let's get started. Here we are. In 2012, the population of a, of a city was 6.64 million. The exponential growth rate was 1.94% per year. Find the exponential growth function. Okay, we're going to do what we did before. Here's the general exponential growth function. where A naught is the original population or the population when you start measuring. Now that would be 6.64 million when measurements started in 2012. All right, so 2012 here is going to be year zero. The beginning. OK, and all right, this is going to be a naught. And the exponential growth rate will be 0 0.0194. So our exponential growth function will be, and they're using P's, all right, 6, 0.64 e to the 0 0.0194 t. That's going to be the growth function that we use for the rest of this problem. Where t is the number of years since or after 2012, and P of T is the population in millions, which is why we only have to put 6.64. 6 and be sure to always read the instructions underneath where you write the answer. Here it says type exponential notation with positive exponents. Do not simplify. Use integers or decimals for any number in the equation. Well, we did that. Now, what will be the population of the city in 2018? That's A. Okay, the year T is going to be 2018 minus 2012, because we began measuring in 2012. So that's six years. T is gonna be six. So now we move to our function, 
P of T, here T is six. So P of six equals 6.64 E to the point zero one nine four times six. And I get my calculator. Hello, here you are. And this, I need to drag it down here for just a minute so I can see. 6.64 second LN point zero one nine four Yes, that's right. Just making sure. Always a little paranoid. Times six. So there you go. I'm going to hit enter. Pull this up. What will the population be in 2018? Well, it's going to be round to one decimal place. Now one decimal place is the four, but it's followed by a five and the five will cause the four to round up to a five. So we're going to write 7.5 million. And I'm going to be a very nice teacher and for the people who come after us who are watching the video, I'll let them see what the calculator said. Okay. Now, the population of the city will be 10 million in about how many years after 2012? That's B. So now here we are. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to attempt to scroll up. There. Oh, this was B. Well, you know, takes me a while. B, and that'll be C. Because for A, all we had to do was write the working equation, the working formula that we're using, the specific formula. Okay, we've got P of T, the population after time, equals 6.64 E to the point 0.0194 T. Now we're being asked, well, when is this population going to go up to 10 million? So we put a 10 over here. That's the population after time. We don't know how much time. We're going to find out. There we go. OK, so 10 equals 6.64 times E to the point 0.0194 T. Now, I have to get this number out of the way. So I'll divide both sides by 6.64. 6.64 6 so 10 over 6.64 equals E to the point zero one nine four T. 
and I take the LN of both sides. So that I can bring that T down in front. I need T down at ground level. Do not find the LN of this yet. LN. 10 over 6.64 equals 0 0.0194 T times the LN of E, which we know is 1. So T is going to equal the LN of 10 over 6.64 over 0 0.0194. And now we'll put that in the calculator. Okay. Well, where on earth did it go? Oh, this is it. All right, let me get this stable, then I'll bring the screen back up. There. That's what we're dealing with. This. There. All right. So clear. All right, there. The LN of 10 divided by 6.64. And that's divided by, notice I closed my paren, divided by 0 0.0194. Double check the LN of 10 over 6.64 divided by 0 0.0194. Enter. Okay, we've got our answer here. Let me drag it over now to the page we're working on. What I need to do is read the in instructions for part C, round to one decimal place as needed for part C. Okay, so we're rounding to one decimal place again. That'll be 21.1 .1 years after 2012. Twenty one point one years after twenty twelve, the population will be ten million. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, look, in twenty eighteen, the population is seven point five million. It's not. Wow, that will take a long time to get up to ten million, won't it? Hmm. All right, now we're going to find the doubling time. Let's make this our doubling time area. Okay, D. Doubling time. Two times 6.64, the original population, so two times that, equals 
e to the point 0194t. And we're going to be solving for t. Okay, the first thing I do is I divide by 6.64. Divide by 6.64. And all the 6.64s cancel out. Isn't that lovely? So we'll have 2 equals e to the point 0, 0194t. Then we'll take the ln of 2 equals the ln of e to the point 0, 0194t. So ln 2 equals point zero one nine four t times the ln of e which is one so point zero one nine four t times one is point zero one nine four t I divide both sides by 0 0.0194 and 0 0.0194. Boom, boom. So T is going to equal the ln of 2 over 0 0.0194. And we get our trusty little calculator. The ln of 2 divided by 0 0.0194. Now some of you are picking up on a general formula maybe for doubling time. Keep that in mind. It's not something you need to memorize though, because you can always work it out and it's not that many steps. Okay. Let's see if I can fit this in. Yeah, barely. All right, now round to one decimal place. That's going to be 35.7. Doubling time is about 35.7 years. That's a long time. That's population growth. So what did we find? You move from a general to a specific formula for the problems you're answering. You always read the instru instructions underneath where you write the answer. In my math lab, that's the answer box. Um, so when you have a year zero like this, you calculate T and you're given a year, you calculate T based on that. So T is going to be well, 2018 or whatever year they're asking about, minus the zero year. Like it was here, T equals 2018 minus 2012, and that's six. Then all you have to do is put that in for T. Now, how many years will it take 
for the population to go up to 10 million. You do it like this. You write the 10 over here and the 6.64 e to the 0 0.0194 t over here. Cancel out the 6.64s. Take the ln of both sides. You're going to do it the same way every time. Even over here, we divide out 6.64 before we start trying to solve anything. So be sure to study this. What else do we have? Aha, there are a couple of short ones. Notice their multiple choice. And they all look correct. All right, in the year 2012, the population was 5.45 million. The exponential growth rate was 3.43%. That's a pretty big growth rate. Well, that's going to be 0 0.0343. And so, for the first part, I was going to write A, but they don't actually call it A anywhere. I'm going to write the general formula that you have to memorize. And then I'll write the specific formula based on this. But notice they're using P of T, so I could write it as P of T equals P naught. In this case, it doesn't mean the original amount of money. It means the original amount of people. E to the KT. And then P of T equals 5.45 times e to the point 0 0.0343 t. Now that's going to be our working formula. So find the exponential growth function. All right, 5.45 e to the 0 0.0343 t. Now let's look here. This one, nope, this one, 5.45 e to the points to the 0 0.0343 t. So this part looks right, but they're the same here and here. So what do we know now? We can mark out A, we can mark out D. Only B and C are the possibilities. Because the first answer matches our answer here. So now we go on. When will the population of the city be 7 million? Well, B says 7.3 years after 2012. And C says 0.7 years after 2012. We're going to have to figure this out. So for the second part, we'll write P of T, the population after time, equals 5.45 E to the 0 0.0343 T. Seven million is the, the population after a certain amount of time equals 5.45 e to the point zero three four three t. Now, first thing, I divide out the number in front of the e. Five point four five and five point four five so that we cancel out five point forty five on the 
E side of the equation. So 7 over 5.45 equals E to the point 0, 0343T. Then we take the LN of both sides. always the same. So the LN of 7 over 5.45 is going to be 0 0.0343T times the LN of E, which is 1. So to solve for t, I'll divide both sides of the equation by k, 0 0.0343, 0 0.0343. So t is going to equal this. I have no idea why I'm writing a dashed line, but oh well, it's just what I do. And now we're about to find out how many years after 2012. LN, seven divided by 5.45, close parentheses, divided by 0 0.0343 is going to be 7.3. So that tells us what our answer is. And we'll get there in just a minute. More room here. So now let's go on. <laughs> let's go on up here. 7.3 years. So now there are two parts of this that are correct. The first part is correct and matches our finding. The second part is correct and matches our finding. That nine will cause the two to go up to a three. So our answer is B. Now we get to do this again. Same basic problem, but the numbers are changed. In 2012, but not the date, in 2012, the population of a city was 6.92 million. The exponential growth rate was 2.13%, so point zero two one three that's what our k is so our general formula is a equals a naught e to the kt and they're using p of t so we'll use p of t equals p naught e to the k t so that'll be P of T equals original population 6.92 times E to the point 
zero two one three T. Now let's go over here. Six nine two E to the No be careful. This is the only one with the correct first part. So in truth, you don't even need to go on to do the second part. However, I think we should, just so you'll know how. P of T equals 6.92 e to the point 0, 0.0213 t. Yeah, that's the only one. How about that? This is 0 0.2. Be careful, they're going to try to trick you. Okay, now what are we looking for? When, when will the population be 9 million? 6.92 E to the point 2137, no, point zero two one three T. Need more coffee. Okay. Now divide 6.92 out. Boom, boom. Which gives us 9 over 6.92 equals E to the point 0, 0.0213 T. Then you take the LN of both sides. So you have the LN of 9 over 6.92 equals 0 0.0213 T times the LN of E which is 1. 0 0.0213 T times 1 is 0 0.0213 T, period. So I divide out 0 0.0213 and 0 0.0213. And 0 0.0213 cancels over on the right, so we have T equals this lovely creature right here. Okay, okay. Let me scroll that up, bring that down, move this away. Interesting desktop today. It changes every day. The LN of nine divided by 6.92 divided by 0 0.0213, enter. Now, let's look back at our choices. OK, 
Okay, now we decided that. Yes, 12.3 years after 2012. 12.3 followed by a three, that three will not cause that three to round up. So I am a pretty happy camper. No, no, leave it there. Okay, I think this is it for population growth. Our third video in, ex in exponential growth in that series of videos is going to be speculation. What do collectors do? They, they can sometimes just, just collect items because they love them, but they can also collect items because they know that they're going to have greater value in the future. That's called speculation. We're going to talk about that next. See you then. Bye-bye.